Hi everyone, this is Professor Mayunga and you are watching Uda Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers, today I'm going to show finite element analysis of a furnace using ANSYS mechanical epidel. Let us see the statement of the problem. A furnace wall is made up of inside silica brick having thermal conductivity of 1.5 watt per meter degree Kelvin and outside magnesia brick having thermal conductivity of 4.9 watt per meter degree Kelvin, each 10 cm thick. The inner and outer surfaces are exposed to fluids at temperatures of 820 degree centigrade and 110 degree centigrade respectively. The contact resistance is 0.001 meter square Kelvin per watt. The heat transfer coefficient for inner and outer surface is equal to 35 watt per meter square degree Kelvin. Find the heat flow through the wall per unit area per unit time and temperature distribution across the wall. Right. So for understanding this one, let us see the actual drawing of this one. This is the drawing. So we can see that this part actually is actually inner brick and this is the outer brick. And in between this one is having contract resistance and here it will be having actually convection and outside also it will be convection two different fluids are there. And in this case convection heat transfer coefficient is also provided and thermal conductivity of material one is also provided k1 and that of material two is also provided k3 and in between this one k2 that to be utilized using the contract resistance we know that contract resistance equal to let us write this one contract resistance actually equal to l2 divided by k2a a is cross sectional area area we are considering u1 and length of this one we are considering l2 equal to 1 and this contract resistance is actually 0 0.001 as cross sectional area equal to 1 meter square k2 equal to 1 watt per meter square degree kelvin and in that case l2 will be equal to 1 millimeter right so if we draw the thermal circuit diagram we can see that it will be having total six different nodes and in between that we are having five different elements you can see first one temperature t1 here itself this will be the convection will be there from here t1 to t2 convection will be there t2 to t3 conduction and t3 t4 we are having contact resistance also conduction t4 t5 conduction again t5 to t6 it will be convection so two times it will be having convection and other cases it will be having conduction and you can see the thermal circuit diagram it will be from t1 to t6 and in between that we will be having five different elements right so without wasting time let us start our analysis using ANSYS mechanical epidural let us see the parameters what it is given parameters given actually let us see the data we can go back to the previous page data is first one is having thermal conductivity 1.5 second one is having thermal conductivity 4.9 watt per meter degree kelvin and temperature at the starting point fluid temperature is 820 degree centigrade final fluid temperature is 110 degree centigrade right and contract resistance is 0 0.001 right okay so with this data we need to start our analysis using ANSYS mechanical epidural right let us close it and we can start our analysis using ANSYS mechanical epidural so first of all we need to create a directory and in that directory we need to save all our work and next to that we need to change the title of this one from file change title and we can change the title of this one as FEA 9 and to see the title let us plot replot and the title is visible at the lower left corner we need to start from preferences and it will show what type of analysis it is it is a thermal analysis so thermal analysis checked in okay now we have to define elemental properties and that will be started from preprocessor element type add edit delete let us add it in our problem we'll be having both conduction and convection so two different types of elements to be selected for conduction and convection right for conduction we are considering link 3d conduction 33 model with element type reference number one apply and for convection we are considering link convection 34 with element type reference number two okay done let us close it next to that we need to apply real constants for providing cross-section areas so 
add edit delete add link 33 for conduction let us provide area of this one as one meter square both case area will be same as one meter square okay now the second one for convection let us provide area of this one again one meter square okay close it next to that we need to provide material properties in this case we need to provide different materials material properties metal models thermal conductivity isotropic here in this case we will be having total six defined nodes and five elements will be there element two three four will be having conduction and element number one and five will be having convection right thermal conductivity of first element was 1.5 watt per meter degree kelvin okay now let us apply second material new model and material id of this one is two let us provide thermal conductivity of the second one this is the location where contact resistance is provided this will be having thermal conductivity of one watt per meter degree kelvin okay right now again third material new model material id is three and it will be having thermal conductivity as 4.9 watt per meter degree kelvin okay now fourth material new model okay it will be having convective transfer coefficient of 35 watt per meter square degree kelvin so at element number one and element number five it will be having convection right let us close it next to that we need to start modeling and we know that in this case it will be having total six defined nodes and in between six now defined nodes it will be having total five different elements in first case when it will be suffering convection in that case the distance between the layers it will be 0 0.001 meter and both the furnaces are having thickness of 0.1 meter right so it will be having total six defined nodes and first node will be created at origin so let us create nodes in active coordinate system first node will be created at the origin so apply it is done second node will be created at a distance of 0 0.001 meter apply third node will be created at a distance of 0 0.101 meter apply fourth node will be created at a distance of 0 0.102 meter fifth node will be created at a distance of 0 0.202 meter apply and the last or sixth node will be created at a distance of 0 0.203 meter okay so we have got six defined nodes and these nodes are very close to each other right next to that we need to create elements and for creating elements we need to see the elemental attributes also elemental attributes first case it will be having convection in that case it will be link 34 and material number will be 4 that is for convection and real constant set number will be 2 okay now auto numbered through nodes we need to join 1 and 2 this 1 and 2 is very close to each other so we need to zoom it that can be done using plot controls pan zoom rotate and box zoom you can zoom it and select different nodes this is node 1 and node 2 that to be joined right select node 1 node 2 okay first element is made in this case it will be having convection next one again we need to select that elemental attributes and in this case it will be having conduction so it will be link 33 and material number will be 1 real constant set number will be also 1 okay now let us join node number 2 and 3 so auto numbered through nodes select node number 2 and for selecting node number 3 we need to bring the nodes together So this is node number 3 to select node number 3 in a better way let us pan zoom rotate plot controls pan zoom rotate and select the box zoom 
so node number three is selected okay second element is also made next to that again we need to see the elemental attributes again in this case material number will be different but all others will be similar it will be having conduction so material number will be 2 link 33 for conduction and a real constant set number also 1 okay now we can join node number 3 and 4 through nodes node number 3 4 join together so this element is also made right next one we need to see the elemental attributes again so in this case it will be again link 33 yes it will be conduction and material number will be 3 and real constant set number also it will be 1 okay now let us join node number 4 and 5 through nodes node number 4 is selected to select the node number 5 we need to zoom it from plot controls and zoom rotate from box zoom we can zoom it and select node number 5 node number 5 is selected okay this element is also made now the last element will be required and in this case we have to follow convection for the last element right so element attributes it will be link 34 and material number also it will be 4 and real constant set number also it will be 2 okay done now this node number 5 and 6 to be joined through nodes let us join 5 and 6 together done so we made all the elements together to see this one in a better way let us fit this model and zoom rotate fit we got all these nodes together and to see the elements we can plot elements so these are the elements right next to that we need to apply our boundary conditions right for applying boundary conditions we can start from loading and analysis type it is a new analysis and it is a steady state analysis okay so define loads and for defining load we need to select the specific nodes and starting point temperature is 820 degrees centigrade at node number one and at node number six temperature is 110 degrees centigrade right so you can select the nodes again plot nodes and here first and second node is very close together so we can zoom it but controls pan zoom rotate box zoom we can select node number one this is node number one this is node number two right so now we need to apply our load boundary conditions right define loads thermal temperature on nodes let us select node number one okay and temperature will be 820 degrees centigrade apply and at last node temperature will be 110 degrees centigrade right this will be the last node you can see it plot control span zoom rotate let us fit it this is the last node that we selected proper way right pan zoom rotate let us select the box zoom option this is the last node select last node and that temperature will be 110 degrees centigrade okay done now we need to solve it and that will be done from solution solve current ls if everything is right it will show solution is done solution is done we can see our results right let us see our results we can see our results from general post processing plot results can to plot nodal solution and nodal temperature what to see but you see temperature are different nodes right these are the different temperatures to see this one in a better way we can list those results so list results nodal solution and nodal temperature at different nodes you can see you can see that temperature at node number one is 820 degrees centigrade and at node number six it is 
110 degrees centigrade and in between we are at having different temperatures at different nodes at node number 2 temperature is 680.31 degrees centigrade at node 3 it is 354.36 degrees centigrade at 4 it is 349.47 at node 5 it is 249.69 degrees centigrade right you can save this result file save as we are saving this one in desktop next to that we can animate this model also and before that we can convert this model into 3d so plot controls style size and shape and from there display of elements should be on this is the model you can see it in a better way by oblique view let's fit that one so this is the model right and to see the animation of that one plot controls animate and deform results you can see how that temperature will be flowing from one end to another end you can view that one okay so with this one we will conclude our today's analysis this was a very simple analysis of a furnace and in this case we considered both conduction and convection right thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye